With the 58th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Ezra Cleveland, tackle, Boise State. And there you see it, the newest member of the Minnesota Vikings, Ezra Cleveland, hugging his family. Ezra, when you look at this, how do you feel? I mean, you got the, the, the people that mean the most to you celebrating probably the biggest moment of your life. How does this feel? You know, like the emotion, you can't even describe it. I got that call from, from, from you guys and, you know, my heart was beating really fast and everything. And just being able, being able to share that moment with my family and, you know, getting drafted to the Vikings who I really wanted to go to is just absolutely unbelievable, dream come true. What was the first thing that came to mind when you heard your name call or, or when you got that phone call from Rick? So truthfully, the first thing uh, I thought was the Rams were on the board. So I thought I was getting a call from the Rams. And then I answered the phone and he said that, oh, hey, this is Rick from the Minnesota Vikings. And my heart just dropped. I was so excited because, you know, I, the Vikings was the one place I really wanted to land 100% all the way. And yeah, I got that phone call, heart dropped and, you know, family started yelling and everything. It was absolutely wild. Man, you go from a three-star recruit that received no power five, no power five offers to Boise State. Now you're a second round draft pick. I would like to say you're the true definition that uh, of hard work paying off. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, fortunately for me, I went to a fantastic college, Boise State, and you know they really hard upon blue collar uh, work ethic, and that's that's the one thing they they really they really hard upon. I can't get over that enough. You know, just coming in day in day out, doing doing the best that you can every day, and making each day just 100 percent, just the best that you could possibly do. Another person that can probably attest to what you just said is your former teammate, Alexander Madison. I think he was the happiest guy on Twitter. Uh, describe your relationship with him. I mean, he, he just seemed like he was more excited than your family was, it, it looked like. Yeah, so uh, yesterday, actually, I was messaging with him and stuff. And we've been messaging all the way from, you know, from this whole, the, when the whole process started back in December. And, you know, today when I got drafted, he's the first person I messaged on Snapchat. and. <laughs> Uh, just the relationship me and that guy have is we've been through everything together between all the all the madras we did at Boise State all the decks we did or it's stuff that you know he'll understand I'm not 100% sure if you guys know what decks are but it's just the hard work that we put in together and you know this the success we had out on the field it just really brought us close together and you know we're lifelong friends now and it's fantastic to be on the squad with him. Well, Alex, we all know he made some plays at Boise State with you. But in addition to your college teammate, the Vikings also have a back that rushed for a thousand yards last year, Dalvin Cook. How excited are you to block for him, too? Oh, uh, you know, it's the same as Alex. You know, he's a running back. And, you know, I hope to have the same type of relationship with him as I have with Alex and, you know, block my heart out for him and do, do you know, bring my 100% up to the table. Similar to what you guys did at Boise State, the Vikings depend on their tackles a lot in their zone blocking scheme. So how do you think your familiarity with that, with this type of offense will help you when it comes to, you know, just learning the playbook? I feel like you have that extra step, extra advantage. Coming from a, um, a zone type offense already, I feel like I have a step above and I feel like the, the zone scheme comes pretty easy for me. I love blocking uh, in that scheme. I, you know, it's just all fits together. So it's absolutely a perfect match. I mean, you always hear all these, I guess during this time of year, the analysts, they, they have their, you know, their mock draft on a certain guy and they have like, hey, this is this is what he does best. This is what he doesn't do best. But for you, since you're the person that they're talking about, what are your strengths? Strengths, you know, I'd come back to athleticism and then heart and consistency. You know, athleticism is a big part of how I play, but I say heart is majority of it. You know, you can't play football if you don't have the heart, you don't love the game. And, I 100% love the game and, you know, uh, consistency was also another one. I was pretty pretty consistent offensive alignment at Boise State, starting from a redshirt freshman all the way to a redshirt junior before I ended up coming out. So, you know, I was there for a reason and now I'm here for a reason. So, can't wait. Lastly, what can Skull Nation expect from you? A uh, hard worker that comes in every day, works his butt off and you know, I'm a stay-at-home guy, so no trouble at all. No trouble with the law or anything, so you never have to worry about that. And, you know, I'd like to think I'm a fun guy to be around. So if you see me on the streets, come up to me, talk to me. I'm relatively funny, so you can look forward to that also. 
Well, best of luck, man. Congratulations. Excited to see you back in Minnesota. Thank you. I really appreciate it.